YouTube back with another video, man. Today's video, man, we're gonna talk about five signs if she has these five traits, like in the relationship with these shorties, man. Like, for real. Because I feel like one of these things is just not talked about in trucking, and these one of these things that could make and break you, especially like being in a relationship or a, a serious committed relationship. But these are like five positive traits. I feel like if she got these traits, bro, you should be good and cherish her. Like, especially like in trucking, and I'm I'm just telling you a personal experience, bro. I've been trucking two and a half years now, so I went through my fair share of trials and tribulations and with women in this industry. So no lot of lizards, like actual females I used to mess with. So I'm gonna just take I'm just giving my personal experience. Like I feel like she got these these five traits, man. She a keeper. And I'm gonna make another video. Uh, if she if she got these five traits, don't date her. So let's get into the video. All right, number one, if she if she just understands how demanding your job is, ain't nothing better, ain't nothing better than a female that understands your situation. And she don't and she don't complain. She don't complain. Like she support and understands, bro. That shit is like exquisio. You feel me? That shit you can't you can't take that shit for granted, bro. When she know you just out here dealing with all these dumbass regular drivers, regular car people driving all these weather conditions, being away from home, not being able to eat your own home-cooked meal every day, and she understands that shit, man, she can try to comfort you in that area, and she just try to, like, make you meals for the week, pack your lunch, pack you, you know what I'm saying, shit, especially if you go, especially when you come home, and she just want to make you plates and shit, her bad head is for you on the road, bro, that is a positive trait, I feel like every woman should have, especially if you're dating a trucker, bro, because <laughs> me being OTI, I hate having to eat fast food all the time or I hate not being able to eat what I want all the time or I have to or if I want to eat what I want I have to door dash and play, play double that shit ain't it I swear to god number two if she constantly give you reinsurance what I mean by reinsurance like when you go on like I said since we depending if you local or yeah I feel like I'm local too because you're going for 10 hours you're going for 10 10 hours 10 to 12 hours out your day so that's more than enough time to do whatever especially with depending on what shift you're on to that's all, especially like when, you, when you working and she's not, man. But what I mean by reinsurance, like she give you that reinsurance, like she ain't doing shit. Like she sharing your, her location with you. She FaceTiming you. She on the phone with you all day. She on the phone with you when you, while y'all fall asleep on the phone together. You know what I'm saying? That's some of that shit sound like kitty shit, but you really be appreciative of that shit till you actually get put in that situation. You feel me? That's all I'm gonna say. Like she, she on FaceTime with you. She, she letting you know. When she just like, hey babe, I'm finna go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it could be this. This the video about the good things. I'm gonna get to the bad things after, but this about the good things. So, but yeah, man, she just constantly give you that reinsurance, bro. You guys like, you know, like, man, when you when you y'all get off the phone, nobody else is pulling up. Oh, she ain't on the phone with another nigga entertaining these things and shit. You feel me? Number three, she always wants to see you back, bro. One thing about women, they're going to make it known that they, they like you or want to fuck with you on that level, bro. They're going to clear up their schedule. They're going to make time to make time for you, bro. They're going to do everything in their power because why they want to be around you. One thing about women, for sure, they go going to make sure that they go they don't give a fuck. They're going to get what they want. They're going to they go, they go miss work. They're going to blow off friends. They're going to blow off family. They're going to just to be around you, depending on what type of nigga you are to them. You feel me? Depending on what type of nigga you watch, they are going to like, you know, make that time for you and shit like that. So number four, if she's willing to come on a road with you, especially if you OTI, it's more so like my OTI, like man, bro, like being on the road around hard legs all the time, bro. That just the just the femininity of a woman to have next to your side to talk to, just to, oh, after a long day of driving, y'all can just come back here and she understands after just seeing your work first, like first person to understand the shit you have to go through and how long you have to drive, and she just I ain't gonna say feel bad, she just wanna cater to you. Like, man, I got you on rub you down, just rub your back. You know what I'm saying? She might cook for you. Depending on what type of shit you got on your truck, you got an air fryer while you driving, bro. Like, <laughs> like that shit, you can't take that shit for granted, bro. Cause that, that shit makes you like more productive, bro. Like for real. That shit help you recover faster. You know what I'm saying? That shit help you sleep better. And then you can have conversations. You're not worried about what the fuck she doing. Cause she were literally right next to you. Right next to you. You know what I'm saying? So 
I feel like if she if she willing to come on the road with you, you know what I'm saying? Like, take, you could be in a relationship with her and shit like that, so. Number five, my last reason, if she don't look at you as like a personal bank account or just like a nigga that spends money, you know, a nigga that's making money and just spending it on her, bro. Like, she actually value your time and money, bro. Cause like I said, a lot of people associate money with truck drivers and majority of women don't really know the extensive research on truck drivers, so they just assume all truckers make money, which is kind of true, kind of not. But she don't, she don't look at you just as a, a, a personal check account, like where she just always asks you for money. It's like she actually see you for you, bro. And like I said, like it's easy. It's easy for people to fall in that truck trap, especially truckers, because like I said, we be gone for so long, bro. We be gone for so long, so of course when we get back to our town, hometown, we might want to go out, go out for a drink, go to a bar, go to a club or something and shit like that. But them females that's like, when you come back, and she don't care about going out, she just want to be around, like just want to be around you. She don't care about you spending money on her. She just want to be around you, that quality time. She value quality time and physical touch more than, you know, acts of service, catch my drift. You know what I'm saying? Like that, those the ones for real, man. So those those like my little five. I feel like she got those five traits. Why you should be in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? If I miss anything, don't forget to you know drop it in the comment section. If y'all if y'all like the video, y'all want a part two to give y'all five more reasons why I feel like like good traits. Just let me know. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. Peace.